As we age, many of us lose strength and have a tougher time balancing. But as KPTV's Rana Sweeney reports, new virtual rehabilitation technology is helping to get some local seniors back up and moving. The new virtual technology isn't just about rehabilitation, it's also about having some fun. Moving from side to side and front to back, Delbert Creens and Barbara Manning are using the Omni VR virtual rehabilitation system at the Marquee Center at Mount Tabor. This is good. This is very good because it gives you a chance to do it and you're not knowing that you're exercising. It's similar to playing the Nintendo Wii, but is designed specifically for seniors with limited physical abilities. What the camera does is actually um, get a, create an avatar, a computer image of the patient, and it reads their movements. So based on what game they're, they're playing, they have to move a certain distance and achieve whatever they're trying to do. While it may look like just a game. And then which piece do you think goes in the top right corner? The virtual technology is actually helping Barbara and Delbert to improve their balance, strength, and range of motion. It's not as easy as it looks, but uh, I, I mean the whole thing is to uh, uh, learn your balance along with the, you know, the therapy part of it. But I was dancing around with my walker pretty fast like. <laughs> And uh, it is a fun thing. We're told that by exercising in a game-like environment, patients are more likely to exercise harder and longer. Plus, Delbert says it makes him feel kind of like a kid again. The fun thing part about it is, is that you're forgetting about what, what you're there for, in a way, because it, bring, it brings a fun thing out, you know, in it. So, but in the meantime, like I say, you're still... A, you're still getting the uh, therapy that you need. More fun than a barrel monkeys. Physical therapists tell me that since the seniors have started using the new technology, they've seen not only improvements with their physical abilities, but also with their confidence. Reporting from the newsroom tonight, Rana Sweeney, the 5 o'clock news.